What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy CJ, Swag CJ. Welcome to another episode of CJ TV, where a place we talk about anything here from music, friends, family, relationships, jobs, and so on. One thing I do not really talk about much is politics. I'm not really into all this politics stuff because a lot of that politics stuff is just a myth. Uh, people live their lives where they want to live it, and they're just as simple as that. So, it's politics is just the way it is. And plus, it's a never-ending story with that. So, that's what, one thing I really don't talk about. But everything else is the place, you know what I'm saying, to let you, let you express your true feelings and everything. Let me go ahead and get to a subject here. Um, I'm going to make it very brief. I was on Facebook and I was just, you know, trying to get suggestions of, you know, what people want me to do uh, or talk about. Um, some was about love and others was about, you know, other things. But this one right here, I have to do this one. Um, it's been on my heart for a while um, because it, it's, it's very troubling and disturbing to see. Um, there's a lot of, you know, issues about cops. Um, I guess cops out there, you know, they're, they're, they're supposed to be out there to protect. Uh, they're supposed to prevent from things from happening. Um, that's what they're supposed to do. So when you see a cop, you know, he's actually protecting. He's protecting us. Um, but when you see a cop doing the opposite, you know, it, it's kind of a little bit nerve-wracking. You know, it's bizarre. You know, it's a little scary. It's like, really? Like... You know, how can you see a cop doing that, doing the opposite, and you feel safe at the same time? You know, in a lot of situations, what happened, you know, actually hit the media. Um, like the Trevon Martin situation, like Michael Brown situation, um, and I can go on and on. And it's not really, me personally, I don't really feel like it's a black and white thing. I really don't feel like it's none of that. I, I really do feel like it's it's a, more of a, the way the world runs, you know, the way they want it to run. You know, I feel like it's, it's a bigger purpose than what it is. Um, come on, I mean, think about it. These cops are just doing, just bluntly out there beating the crap out of somebody. Just beating the crap out of somebody being videotaped I mean what is going through his mind like dude what are you doing I mean just trying to get fired I mean come on think about it you know it just doesn't make absolutely no sense I mean it's a job you know it, it, it is a job and you can't get your feelings all freaking twisted and then take it out on somebody doing absolutely nothing wrong like that doesn't make no sense to me and so that's why I, you know, me personally, you know, for somebody to, to, to do that, you know, and not even care about the consequences, it got to be something more. Like, that's why I don't really understand, you know. Um, I guess it was an incident. I don't know the details. It was a cop. You know, it was a cop. He was actually beating the crap out of this lady almost in the middle of the street, just beating the crap out of her. I'm like, yo, dude. Cars driving by and everything. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I don't understand. Like, you know, is the anger? Is he like mad about something else? It gotta be something like that. That's why I really don't understand why these cops do what they do and then think there's no consequences. Now, be you know, be honest with you, there are situations where cops done things like that and got away with it. You just get to the point where something don't have to be done about it. It just has to be done about it. If you don't do anything about it, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse to the point where the cause is going to be pointless. Um, so this is why my heart is going out for the victims that has been in situations like that. It just it just hurts me to see that. You know, I don't I don't want nobody to get hurt. You know, but I do feel like that people don't understand there is consequences for their actions. Um, you know, think about it. You know, if you have a son, a daughter, a mother, a father, and you see, or you find out that a cop actually beat the crap out of your own mom, dude, like, think about that. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, for the ones that, you know, feel like all oh, this right here shouldn't be talked about, what if that was your mom? 
What if that was your dad or your son and your daughter getting their ass whooped, beating the crap out of by a cop? What? How would you feel about that? How would you feel about that? I mean, be real with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are so stupid. Like, don't, they don't really think and use their brain. They don't do that. So, you know, a lot of people not they're they're thinking only one way because that's the way they want to think. So it's just you know it just doesn't make any sense. But at the same time, there's a flip side to it. You know, I do feel like that there are cops out there who do their job and they do it with pride. You know, they they stand up and they're like, yo, I, I'm I'm protecting you know my environment. You know, that's my job. And there are cops out there like that. I had a situation. I'm going to make this very, very brief. Um, you know, I used to be, I was doing some of the door-to-door sales and I actually was, you know, basically going around the U.S. selling cleaning products. And I was left in the streets by, I guess, the, the manager or whatever. And I had nowhere to go. A cop seen me walking in the street. He asked me, are you okay? And I said, yes, but he knew I wasn't. And he pulled me over, you know, on the side of the road and talked to me. And, you know, I got into his cop car and, you know, he actually gave me money. He gave me food to eat. He gave me, gave me a Greyhound ticket all the way up to Atlanta. I forgot what city I was in or state I was in, but I wasn't even near home. Like, I was in a whole other state. He actually sent me home with money. For, I mean, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, it was by a cop. I'm not really sure was he black or white. And that's the funniest thing about it. Because if he was white... Then it's like, oh, dang, that's that's actually something something good to say, you know what I'm saying? Because he was black. It was like, oh, well, he's just, he's just trying to help the black people, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things where I'm not really sure if he's black or white, very blurry. Um, but he was a cop, you know what I'm saying? So he was, he, there, there are good cops out there. So I don't want to really point a finger at anybody. You know, I'm just stating the facts of what's really going on. And we need to do something about it, you know. I'm not really into the protest in the middle of the street. I just something I don't really do. But I don't knock anyone that does it. You know what I'm saying? But we do need to do what we need to do to get our voice out. You feel me? So anyways, your boy CJ Swag CJ. Follow me on Twitter. Add me on Facebook. And please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Swag CJ. It's still in two years. Uh, we'll continue to give you more of this content. More videos. Um, it's going to be about uh, whatever you want me to talk about, I, you know, I talk about it, man. Hit your boy up, CJ, you feel me? Um, a dance, scene, rap. It's your boy, man. You know how I do, man. Get at your boy, Swag CJ. Peace. Huh? Where is he?